peace and love. Welcome. Come on in. Come on in, beautiful ones. Let's tap in. This is a temperature check. Yes, it's a temperature check. We're going to go ahead and get into some frequency. Welcome to another 1111. <laughs> Another 1111 portal, beautiful ones. Welcome into the energy. Let's go ahead. Let's talk about it. Um, Beautiful ones, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to you all. All right? And I'm going to leave that right there. I want to raise that frequency throughout the collaborative. If we can all tell one another, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, energetically speaking. We are all connected. So let's talk about this 1111 portal. If you had a chance to watch the last recording, okay? The last recording. And it was really a channel message that came through supporting you with being in alignment, in balance, like the 1111, the two pillars. It's balance, it represents balance. And when we closed out that reading, it ended with the four of wands, 1111. So, <laughs> so, that confirmation, just like that horn hunk before I'm even speaking, that confirmation alone had me really look at the message that came through. And that energy of 1111 is really about how to properly balance yourself out in your feelings. If you recall, you had the anchor to come out you were surrounded with water. And this is how to balance your feelings out, your emotions, those cups, right? In order to create balance so that the universe can amp it up and return it back to you. This portal that we're in, the frequencies change. They change based on the frequency of the number. The whole world is operated by universal numbers, sacred knowledge. And the sacred knowledge that we have, we use it and we work with it. And when you know how to operate with the universal codes, because these are codes and these codes, we're actually downloading them based on the frequency that we're already riding in on. You can't trick the universe, you know, and it's not just easy, simple, one, two, three, I'm manifesting. No, no, that's not how that works. I mentioned earlier about going to the water and all of this was connected to the read that we had. If you're really, you know, receiving the messages on a higher frequency. It was guiding you to water. And I believe a day or so before that, we were already told to start planning, start planning. And that planning has everything to do with rituals that take place. And those rituals that take place are in combination of numbers. And if you know the perfect time and place, because a place has a date and a name, and a time is frequency as well. So we are in the year of eight. The four ones together our fours. We are operating in a balanced frequency right now. 
to where the universe is doubling up on the manifestations in this energy. It's doubling up, but it's doubling up in a way that activates your personal superpowers, your upgrades. I have many clients that come to me and ask me, how do I do it, Tammy? And for the longest of time, I really didn't even comprehend that because I felt like, well, it'll happen for you when it happens. But I understood frequency and energy and me being who I am, I bring balance. So I'm going to speak on anything that is unjust or unfair that I see someone I'm working with that is creating that for themselves, right? So me being able to have that connection always would tie into how do you unleash your gifts? How do I tap into my gifts? It all starts with knowing your purpose. It all starts with your purpose. And when you're true to your heart with your purpose, your purpose comes from knowing and figuring out just who you are. And even if you're not 100% sure what you are supposed to know about yourself is what you want in life. If you stay in alignment with what it is that you want in life, it brings you closer to your purpose, closer to your dreams, closer to your powers. It unleashes what it is that is your personal power because you're to take this energy and disperse it to others. It's actually not anything that's being held back from you. It's about are you holding yourself back from it? So I support in that area how to activate your powers by activating you. Yeah. So there are rituals that we can do in this energy. You know I will go over them. I'm going to talk about journaling and I'm going to talk about working with the frequency of 11, the number 11. All right. Um, and we'll go over journaling as well as other rituals you can do in this 1111 portal at 11, 11 a.m. or p.m. You can pick either one, whichever one works for you. So we'll talk about that in the forecast report tonight, as well as working with frequency itself, being in the energy around those times, vibrating in those energies. And tomorrow's a day that a lot of people have free to activate. So wherever you are, you know, around the world, tap into the frequency of 1111. Make sure that you have your heart open to receive as you give. You've also heard me mention I'll be going to donate, all right? And I'm actually donating and gathering things now to take to a local donation center tomorrow on 11 11. so what i'm doing is i'm activating instant karma because my heart has already set intentions and i can see the things that return back to me i'm creating a powerful action a domino effect of things being balanced out 
I'm balancing out the energy. For everything that someone gives me, I give back. And that effect continues to make an exchange in the energy. There are rituals that include speaking and everybody speaks a spell but what spells are you speaking to yourself it's just something to think about and beautiful ones i want you want you all to speak beautiful spells okay beautiful spells but you do that by clearing out the heart space because you will receive this energy through the solar plex through the solar plex and it will be released through your crown there is an activation a code that is going to come from both suns the cosmic sun and then of course our local sun uh-huh and these are codes being sent cosmic codes you'll be able to receive information some of you may even Feel it, okay? This is why you want to be active during this time, but not too active. This is why I'm talking about journaling and different other ways you can manifest in this energy, okay? So let's talk about it, beautiful ones. Let's go ahead. Let's get into this energy. Let's see what Spirit has to say. It's actually 11 minutes and some change on the timer okay yeah i didn't do that on purpose but yeah let's get to it i am protected by my host of angels ancestors and spirit guides as i channel these messages i ask that my collaborative is protected as well beautiful beautiful ones i hope you're all feeling lovely this is an extended temperature check uh-huh yeah hope you're all doing lovely yeah today is a day to prep yourself okay and really start thinking about everything you've been manifesting or what it is you want to manifest let's see what spirit has to say okay mira Mira is here. Thank you, Spirit. I am protected by my host of angels, ancestors, and spirit guides as I channel these messages. Give me a second. One fell. conversation a conversation hmm wow and it just flew it flew under the chair so wow <laughs> what type of conversation that's gonna be let's see what else spirit <laughs> all right we got Mm, okay. Spirit answered that question right away. Yeah. I said, what type of conversation that's going to be? Spirit answered back. I'm going to go through the energy, beautiful ones. You know, I'm going to hold the cards up. We got a flipper. Let's see. Here we go. Mm-hmm. I felt that one coming. <laughs> All right, what else, Spirit? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. All right. 
So the first card we have out is Mira. And you know, the fact that the mirroring is with water, uh-huh, this is tapping into more water energy. And this is about looking at your own reflection as if you would look down into like a water bank or a river. Yeah, this is about your reflection, who you are. Who are you mirroring? What does it look like when you look in the mirror and see yourself? I feel like this is more of a reflection, a self-reflection versus that of another. This is all about you. This deck is the which way forward. This is about you. And it's following the energy of divine timing. You and your person are in these universes that are colliding is what it feels like. They're colliding, divine timing. You see these swans, they're sitting in water too. They're sitting in water and there's a big picture of the earth that's behind them with a TV with just a color grid on the TV. This is a universal connection, a soul connection that exists. And this is the energy of two coffee cups and a moped, all right? And it's called a conversation. There's a conversation that needs to take place that is being really aligned to take place, okay? Mm. Be it past, future, or present. Because I'm feeling a lot of present energy and I'm also feeling future very soon future. The number three came to mind, okay? That could be three days, that could be 30 days, that could be 33 days. It could be three hours, you let me know. A special place. I asked spirit, what type of conversation is this gonna be, okay? Because the conversation flew under the chair. And Spirit answered back and said, a special place, a special place. So you're self-reflecting, your person is self-reflecting and you're to come together to have a conversation that is gonna be guided by your spirit guides, your host of angels, your ancestors. This card says angels, guides, ancestors, and ascended masters. Yeah, yeah. This is something in a union, a conversation that is gonna take place Look, you may not even know your person, okay? I wanna be very clear about this because we're all in different parts of this timeline, but in this 11-11 energy, we're going to jump a grid. Uh-huh. Some of you, many of grids. These are superpowers that are being unleashed. 11-11 is about activating your superpower. And if you are in a high vibration, which I've been telling you all, we gonna stay on that. This is what we own. We're on high vibration, especially being mindful of the energies that are taking place while we're in the energy. 
So 1111 allows you to basically take quantum leaps into the energy because it's like somebody pushing you on a swing two times. But that third time, you are pushing the air back so fast that you give yourself leverage to shoot forward. And whatever rituals you do to support that are totally up to you. You don't have to do them. You don't have to journal. You could self-visualize and clear the energy for yourself in different ways to be able to support that. This is why I always offer different remedies to your recipe, all right? Everything else is gonna be based on the power that you have. But this here orchestrated energy is angelic. It's coming from an angelic realm. And you are learning in this energy. I talked about being a student this morning. Yeah. I like being a student because you're forever learning really the secrets of the universe. Overall energy is dreams, dreams, okay? So to get yourself ready to receive this energy, you definitely could do some programming before you go to sleep. What is it that's on your mind? You could do some journaling before you sleep tonight. And I suggest that you do, because it programs the mind, and you already will have your intention set. And what you'll be doing is repeating the frequency. When you do your journaling, you'll tap into the energy of 11, and we'll talk about that more. So dreams are gonna support in this energy. Spirit is telling me to split the deck. Wow, it's closed off. It's closed off. Mm. Wow. Balance. <laughs> Now, whoa, whoa, spirit is not playing, spirit is not playing, y'all, wait a minute, was the deck just closed off, and the last thing that spirit had to say to let me know to flip both of them over, see, some people would close out but you got to listen to your intuition in order to get the messages you got to listen to your intuition that's why you're working with the solar plex energy mm-hmm yeah yeah everything is connected beautiful ones everything is connected please believe it i just put these feathers up a week ago this is the solar plex energy and it has a citron nugget tied to it. That's one of the stones you work with for your solar plex. You're working with frequency. And when you allow yourself metaphysically to just listen to source, you open up the portal. You're able to ride through the portal and get exactly what it is that you're asking for. But you have to be sure exactly what it is Spirit said balance, balance. That's what we're talking about, 1111. And it says karma. There is a wooden sign that is being held up and it says karma. Everything that you put into the universe, you best believe it comes back. It comes back. It comes back. Yeah. Balance now. Now. 
If you had a question as to when, it's happening now. And you have the ancestors and your spirit guides that are hosting this energy. Your ascended masters, whoever you work with in the spiritual realm, they're hosting this energy. Wow. Your dreams, beautiful ones. <sighs> Spirit is telling you, return to sender. Return to sender. This is the energy where you would do your return to senders. However you do them, you can just say them and speak the name. It's a powerful energy. You're being reminded that you are more than enough more than enough i don't want you to misstep this guidance because baby it's being laid down it's being laid down for you star energy you got star energy star energy this is an activation and you got love you got love you're also being told that in this energy, you're tapping into the ancient future, the ancient future. And to remember that you are never alone. That's your overall energy. Wow. And it's a big old stack of cards here. And that's the message. That's the message spirit wants you to have in this energy. Let's go ahead. Let's get into some animal apothecary. I want to see what else spirit needs us to know. These are things you can write down. If you want to remember any messages or you can look at the transcripts as well, you know, and get what it is you need in order to help you with your journaling or anything you plan on doing in this energy. The book that sits before me with my great-grandfather's picture on it is a book of manifestations. Yeah, it's a book of manifestations that I write my manifestations in. And I'll be pulling that out tonight yeah after this read and then taking a smaller journal and using it for frequency writing but this bigger book is more so of mapping out the intentions for my highest good how will it benefit me you know I think about what it is. Cause remember you're, you're connecting. You're one with the universe, okay? You're one with the universe. So it's like you're mirroring, you're talking to yourself and you're being true to yourself. And it's not on a superficial level. It's you being able to bear your heart and your true intentions to bring forth what it is you know will support your future for its highest. Climb in the energy. You'll look back 10 years from now and be like, whoa, I drink this, all of this. But it has to start now. It's not an overnight success. For some, it'll be way earlier than that, right? Having what it is you put down on a piece of paper, seeing it yours. You are what you think. <laughs> exactly. That point, exactly. That's all I'm saying. You are what you think, what it is that's on your mind. What are you thinking? 
What are your intentions? What are behind your thoughts? You are what you think. This one comes out often. Inner conflict, resolution. This is a snake in the phoenix rising, okay? There's some inner conflict and there's some resolution that is needed with self. That resolution comes from self. It comes from a reckoning, a reckoning of the soul, a reckoning of the spirit. Being grounded in the energy. Yeah. We're gonna take these. Evolve into your complexities. This one comes out often for you too. You're being told to evolve, just evolve, let go. Let go of old beliefs, old practices, the things you were told you were supposed to do and be. Let all that go. Stay on your path, destiny's paths. Omnia unos est. Omnia uno est. Destiny's path. Stay on it. Keep trying. Keep trying. And this isn't talking about with someone else. This is for yourself. This is all for you. Let's check your overall energy. Immense growth. Yeah. You do all these things that have been laid out for you. Resolve that inner conflict. Get real clear about your manifestations in this portal. You'll see immense growth. Immense growth. Our next 11-11 you will have immense growth. I just blew out that candle, okay? Because the oil was going to burn forever. I was just burning oil at that point. Our community candle, yeah. The oil was just going to burn forever. So I blew it out and I put a blessing over it for the collaborative. So I know... <laughs> I know that this next 11-11, everything that I'm saying now, you'll be ready, super ready for the energy to activate, but we're working in the energy of the frequency of 2024. It is a special umph to this energy because we're balanced. We're balanced in this energy. Yeah, the odds aren't stacked against anyone. It's an even playing field for those on the good side of karma. Because as I opened up and said, look, it doesn't work with like, oh, I'm just going to manifest, manifest, club, manifest. No, whatever it is you manifest in the 3D, it's going to be reflected back to you. That's what the reflection is all about, okay? Yeah, that's how that works. I love this energy. I love this 11-11, 11-11, I love it. Let's go ahead and get some numbers out here, okay? I wasn't gonna tap into the number oracle, but I'm being told to tap into the number oracle, okay? I was going to leave the number oracle for our weekly forecast. I'm actually thinking about possibly doing a midweek forecast. I'm going to see. I'll definitely let you all know in a read later on tonight. Most likely the forecast. <laughs> it, just, it depends. It depends. Because I'm going to be prepping something and I want to follow up with an 1111 reading another one, okay? So I pulled it out. Actually, I was looking at this money signs and I was thinking numbers, okay? So it looks like I will be doing the numbers with the forecast. I will be. 
And the career purpose cards is what I was called to. I knew it was numbers. I knew it was frequency, but I saw the dollar signs. This is how you listen and you pay attention to your intuition with the dollar signs being signs and symbols and synchronicities. So let's see what spirit has to say. Spirit wants me to tap into the monies, okay? Your finances, your chochos. All right, I love it. Mm. Let's talk about it. Spirit, give me cards for Libra. Why did we pull this deck? What does Libra need to know in this energy? This is going to help with the 1111 vibration, okay? Yeah. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Amusement is here. More cards. All right. We're taking two. We're creating balance. Okay? And connection. Amusement. You have a natural talent. Natural talent you can share with the world. It's time to make money from them while having a good time just being you. It's something that you do naturally that you can enjoy and get paid for it. And you're not using it, at least not to its full degree. That's part of your purpose. This is your intentions. What is it that you know attracts others? And people enjoy this part of you. And most of all, you enjoy it the most. Really think about that. That's something if you want to write it down to ask yourself. I'm going to read it again. You have natural talents that you can share with the world. It's time to make money from them while having a good time just being you. It'll be like going to the arcade, okay? Or the game room. Making money. Yeah. I love that. Because spirit is wanting you to know your manifestations are about you. They're all about what it is that you can secure your future with. You have connections that comes out. Teamwork makes the dream work. Allowing others to share their talents and skills with you will help your career and business grow further. Wow. I literally was thinking about this today. I was thinking about how originally I was gonna start off with a podcast first, right? Because my dream, ha, that part, my dream. Yeah, teamwork make the dream work. And then you had dream, that was your overall energy with the which way forward. My dream that I have includes communication on all levels, okay? Hitting all air waves, all air waves, because you are air. You're meant to do that, okay? On different levels. Whatever your purpose is here for, your use, you're being used for the element of what it is you reincarnated in. And you've been reincarnated in the element of air or wherever you use this energy that accentuates your personal superpower. Yeah, that gets activated using this 1111 portal.
Let's talk about it. This amusement, tap into this energy of what it is that you know you enjoy doing that makes money. Uh-huh. That should be part of your manifestation. Connections is here. This teamwork, this teamwork is all about you allowing others to share their talents and skills with you. It'll help your career and business grows. Some of you may need to, you know, um, go to different, I wouldn't say competitions, but for some of you competitions, some of you uh, entering into contests that accentuate or even help you to grow what it is that you do. Finding places and people that actually already operate in what it is that you find you want to grow in. How do you connect with that community of people and actually are able to share in a safe place and receive support in that energy? Because you're creating a balance in all your relationships. You're not just draw, joining a group to, you know, be a part of a group. This is about how it is you support one another that also brings in this energy an upliftment of what it is you're manifesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can receive that energy, of course, here as a collaborative, but what do you do outside of that? You know, outside of watching Tarot. What is you're doing on a frequency that elevates the same thing you're here for? It's a group with like-minded people all on the same frequency, still manifesting that energy, but individualized knowing the frequency you're all vibing on because everybody has the same intentions of bringing in what it is they're calling. It's just like, you know, if you go somewhere where, you know, people act, act up. You're already going in somewhere knowing the opportunities of what it is that awaits you. So you won't be shocked if something approaches you. But when you enter into different circumstances, places, situations where you know the frequency, the vibe is good, you know, people are opening up doors for you, caring, courteous, kind, thoughtful, generous in the energy, and not generous because, you know, they're buying you a couple of drinks. That's just somebody else wants you to get like them. All right? So, you know, understanding the intentions of everybody, of everyone around you, is key. It is literally key. People's intentions matter. So, be around the energy of those only who support you with the best intentions. Spirit, tell the story for my Libra. All right. Wow. The Queen of Pentacles bounces out, ready to go. All right. <laughs> oh my goodness. Queen of Pentacles is here. Someone could have Earth in their chart. You could be cross-watching energy as well. I feel cross-watching energy often in here. It'd be heavy. It'd be so heavy. Okay. There we go. Got that one. Uh-huh. The strength comes out and the emperor. Imagine that. Okay. Let's talk about it. Cards for Libra. This is your 11-11. Energy read. All right. Yes, it is. That's the truth. That's exactly what it is. The Ace of Swords is here. This is clarity. 
This is a breakthrough. It's the truth, too. Five of Cups is here. Mm. Some grief, regret. Thank you, Spirit. Gotta flip up. The Knight of Wands. The Empress. Right beneath the Emperor. Imagine that. One more, Spirit. All right, that one. Five of Swords, okay? Hmm. Wow. Interesting. Overall energy is the moon. Is the moon. And look what card is sticking up. Somebody's broken hearted. The secret is somebody is suffering in silence. Someone is suffering in silence. Hmm. So we got the queen of pentacles here with the strength. Possible Leo earth energy, right? Someone could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Someone could be a Leo. We got the emperor here, that's Aries fire sign. We got air with the ace of swords. We got water energy with the five of cups. Mm-hmm. Someone's in their emotions. There's an emperor, a divine masculine energy who is has had a breakthrough. They have had a breakthrough. There's a queen of pentacles who's dealing with some emotional loss. They're in grief. This nine of wands energy is the energy of someone stepping into their strength and passionately taking leaps and bounds and quantum leaps is what I'm getting, okay? Uh-huh. There's the Empress that's here. Something is being created in the energy as we speak. The Five of Swords is here. This is a defeated, a card of defeat. Someone's defeated in this energy. Spirit, give me the Queen of Pentacles. Someone's facing their fears. Wow, when I said that, the devil appears. Someone is facing their fears, their demons. Uh-huh, and this demon is a Queen of Pentacles energy. It is, who's broken hearted. When it comes to the lovers, you see the lover card poking out? Yeah, uh-huh. With the broken heart. Yeah, it's been showing up often in the collaborative. So this here earth sign energy. Yeah, I don't think she's passionate. I think she's sad and has a lot of regret for her deeds of a demon, right? Remember, this is the spirit we're talking about, okay? She doesn't have horns, uh-huh. <laughs> but it is what it is, right? Hmm, tell us more about the Queen of Pentacles. Tell us more about the Queen of Pentacles because we got an emperor and an empress already down. We got divine masculine. They want a new beginning, a new passionate beginning. They want a new beginning. They want a new passion the beginning. And they also want the Ten of Cups. I just heard I want my family back. That's what I heard. Whoa, that's wow. I want my wishes fulfilled. Nine of Cups. Oh, I want to be happy. The sun. Whoa. Hmm, I want to collaborate. I want the Ace of Cups. Wow. 
and I'm going after it. Nine of Swords. I'm also imbalanced. When it comes to having a stable union. So somebody knows that they trapped in their head, I was going to say screwed up. But trapped in their head, somebody knows they're in balance. They know they don't have it all. But they want to invest in this energy. What? This is sounding like that card, the Psycho X that comes out in True Emotions. Give me the Ace of Wands with this devil. Give me the Ace of Wands with the devil and the Queen of Pentacles spirit. Give me this energy. Wow, secrets, the moon comes out. So this is what I'm getting. <laughs> Whoa, and she trapped in her head. Look, very clear. We're dealing with somebody that has a mental illness of some sort. Okay, spirit is not playing around. Spirit is being very clear. This is the issue. And the seven of pentacles energy, this is them investing. They're waiting because somebody walked away. They're waiting. Somebody walked away from them eight of cups. And now they're dealing with anxiety, stressed out. Somebody's losing their mind. They're losing their mind. Ten of Swords, my goodness. This is a painful ending for this energy. Because they're holding on tight to someone's energy. Wow. The chariot is here. Someone moved forward in the energy. And now they're all in their head. Seven of Cups. Wow, somebody done... Somebody wasn't mentally stable. And I am not a psychologist at all. I'm reading energy. And can't nobody tell me nothing about that. I see what I see. I feel what I feel. Somebody has lost their mind. The moon represents the mind. It represents the mind. The psyche. Cancer energy. Somebody is off right now. Eight of Swords. And they're trapped there. What I'm getting is we saw the return to Cinder card that came out in the energy. It's a mirroring energy that's happening right now. And somebody has had a return to Cinder. Whatever energy that was put out there into the universe on their behalf, they're getting this energy back. They're getting this energy back. That's what's happening. Wow. Give me the strength. Give me the strength. This Leo energy. That's too many. Spirit said off top. A nine of pentacles. Somebody. A Leo in a Virgo energy. A nine of pentacles. Another earth energy. This is someone who's self-sufficient. Okay. This is about the self. There is a strong energy. I'm getting, you know, she's one pinnacle away from empressing, right? And we already have the empress out here. So I'm getting this as past energy. You're in this nine of pinnacles energy, okay? Self-sufficient to where somebody is not. They were not. They were codependent in the energy, leaning and, you know, really needing that of others. Energy wise, right? But there's a balance being created. Whoa. This is why we saw those two cups, the conversation, the special place with an emperor and an empress. 
You come out together in this energy. This is balance. Universal balance, I just heard. The Nine of Pentacles is here with the strength. So this is a strong feminine or masculine energy who stands on their own. Either way it goes, we have the balance of both energies being reflected, right? With the Empress and the Emperor here. So there's a strength when it comes to this Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. It was a painful ending with a Nine of Pentacles energy. Tell us more. The strength in the Nine of Pentacles. A Leo and a Virgo energy. Our Earth sign. All right. Someone could have that in their chart. All right. A King of Swords is here. Wow. This is somebody that wants to be honest. They want to operate in this energy and be honest when it comes to the lovers, overall energy, the lovers. And the queen of swords is right behind it, the mate to the king of swords, okay? I'm getting this energy of like a couple at odds, right? The lovers, right? A couple at odds wanting to come to a common ground, a conversation. A conversation with the King of Swords. And the lovers is here. Someone could feel blocked in this energy or you could be protecting your heart, your energy. Flip and switch these energies, you know? But this is two air sign energies. Someone could have Aquarius in their chart. Even Gemini. But we know you're this energy of either because there's balance in that energy, right? So there's the King of Swords that's here. They want to offer a Nine of Pentacles energy. What do they want to offer, Spirit? King of Swords. King of Swords. Okay, came out in reverse. Wow. The Three of Cups in reverse. They want to be honest and let you know there's no more three-party situations, okay? That's what I'm getting. I'm not having, they're not having a good time at the party, okay? I'm getting that. They want to let you know that that's a flop and bam, balance is created. Overall energy, ooh, it's justice, your energy. Balance, those scales, right? And the Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled. <laughs> Woo, is that what y'all manifesting? I don't know, my manifestation's a little different. <laughs> really? That's what's going on, hey, to each his own. <laughs> I'm just playing, y'all, but for real, for real, somebody is in this energy manifesting a happy life, okay? I'm with that though, my goodness. Somebody feels like they need to get something off of their chest is what I'm getting, that's what I got because this is karma, justice is karma. And it looks like a queen of pentacles energy is getting every bit of that. She reeks of return to cinder and the energy and somebody is wanting to let you know about three individuals that have been getting down shady in the energy three or more okay it's a king of swords with a three of cups tell us about the three of cups thank you spirit give me the three of cups in this energy give us the energy of the three of cups wow whoa i gotta let these rock out the way they falling and the two of cups, wow. It's a lot of energy, but spirit brought him out like this. It's the king of pentacles who is a two of cups. That's the king to the queen of pentacles, okay? So somebody found a divine partnership, okay? They did, and it's not the queen of pentacles. The other cards that came out, 
a missed opportunity and manifesting a missed opportunity. Four of Cups in reverse and a Page of Pentacles. So Spirit is saying that three corrupt individuals were manifesting someone to miss an opportunity, to have missed opportunities when it comes to a divine union with a King of Pentacles because everything has been illuminated about what it is this Queen of Pentacles has been into for the energy. Thank you, divine. Thank you. Thank you. Look how crystal clear that one came through for the Three of Cups. Overall energy is a new beginning. That's why the King of Swords is here. Page of Wands. Give me the Emperor. A divine masculine energy. Give me the Emperor. Thank you, Spirit. Mmm, wow. This wants to come out along with the Nine of Swords in reverse. Somebody had some type of mental breakdown, okay? And they were on the verge of um, possibly even needing help or receiving help. Someone super overstressed and they're healing from this energy, okay? Overall energy is justice. This is also karma, okay? It's also karma. Um, be it good or bad, people know what energy they operate in, right? Behind that is someone with a cup, all right? Mm -hmm. A new feeling, love, okay? Something is being balanced out in the energy, okay? This here energy of a nine of wands is someone healing too. This is the wounded healer, the wounded hero energy. This energy is someone who is healing from this mind manipulation that happened in this energy. And I feel like this King of Swords energy wants to tell you about this here journey of these mind games. I'm splitting the deck, this collaboration of Three of Pentacles, okay? Three individuals that came together against them in the energy spirit. Give me this Nine of Swords in reverse with the Nine of Wands. Nine endings. Somebody was trying to end things. You could be seeing nines. Uh-huh. Nine, nine. Thank you, spirit. This card. Okay. That's on everything. The Hierophant is here. Somebody tried to steal. Somebody tried to steal. Overall energy, seven of swords. Uh-huh. Some type of collaboration. This is also three as well. If you see the two people praising or looking up to the Hierophant energy, this is somebody coming to somebody for some type of work, some type of organization coming together. And look, the sun wants to poke out and let you know this is the truth. Things are being illuminated at this time. They are. Uh-huh. Somebody is in this energy of trying to look forward after this here theft, okay? Wow, they made plans. They made plans, beautiful ones. Give me a second. A call came through right when I was channeling and this information was coming in. Beautiful ones, overall energy is the seven of swords, my goodness. Someone made plans. They made plans in this energy. And it's a king of wands for a king of wands energy, a Leo energy, who is a king of cups energy. This is an emperor. This is a divine masculine energy. We know that the emperor is all of these kings, okay? And a high priestess. And a high priestess energy. This is the truth. This is the truth, okay? And that's what went on. Take what is yours, leave what is not. These plans, these plans. They wanted an emperor to miss an opportunity. Tell us what's going on with the emperor. What's happening with the emperor spirit? They're already the king of swords in the energy. They're all of these attributes. Wow, the Queen of Cups, that's what's going on with the Emperor. A Queen of Cups energy who they're heartbroken over. We know that the Empress is all the Queens. You have to be every attribute, archetype of the 
queens in order to become the empress, right? So this three of swords energy is this emperor who is heartbroken over the queen, which is the empress. And they want to work on something. They want to work on something. They have been working is what I'm getting. Someone is staying busy working, trying to heal their heart. Hangman energy. And they now see things from a new perspective. And they want to give reciprocity with the Six of Pentacles here. Behind that is they've been all up in their head. Seven of Cups. Because judgment is here. Somebody it has gone through an awakening, a rebirth in the energy. It's judgment in the energy. Mm. Give me the Ace of Swords because this is the breakthrough. This is the Ace of Swords that's here. Give me the breakthrough. Give me the Ace of Swords. This is the truth. This is clarity. What a high priestess say. What a high priestess knows. What it is she's not saying. Okay? Unless, you know, you got a platform and this is what you're doing. Some of you are high priestess energy. You could have a channel. Okay? This card wants to come out. Let's take a look at it. It's the King of Cups. There's a King of Cups energy who is in love with a high priestess energy. They are emperor. This is divine masculine energy. Divinity in itself. Give me the Five of Cups. This is the energy of this earth sign energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. This Queen of Pentacles energy, or oh, it's just this baby mama, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. This mother figure of some sort, right? Give me the Five of Cups. Five of Cups, all right. Yeah. This is a Nine of Pentacles energy. This is somebody having grief, loss, and regret when it comes to bringing someone a solid offer. It's a solid offer that they feel like they should have brought, but it evidently was not the time. Somebody had some wicked shit to do before that happened, right? Excuse my French. But this Nine of Pentacles energy, it's the energy of someone who works hard it showed the cards that they've been doing nothing but working. Mm-hmm. And they want to work on this energy. But this is someone who works hard. They're very stubborn, all right? They're conservative, too, but they're a responsible person. The Knight of Pentacles, this is a slow horse. But it's due to gaining your balance being in the energy of a responsible person. Hmm. They're very passionate about you. This King of Cups is here. And they're broken hearted. Mm. Nine of Wands. Give us this Nine of Wands energy. Nine of Wands. Yeah, so... It could be some fighting, some type of um, competition when it came to Queen of Swords energy, your energy, uh-huh. Yeah, a Knight of Wands energy. See, your person could have been out here, you know, this dashing, powerful person with a wand, okay? Flipping switchies energies, okay? A dashing, powerful person with a powerful... Uh, meow, uh-huh, right? And there were energies that felt they needed to be competitive in the energy. There was some competition. I feel like your person had competition that existed in this energy prior to, but it was being already manipulated to fit the circumstance of this Queen of Pentacles. They were losing grip of that energy, and basically all an empress needs to do is show up and it really become a spiritual warfare, right? You got the Queen of Swords that's here. Like, bring it on, huh? Right? Mm. Somebody's been thinking about this here energy. 
Give me this Nine of Wands with the Five of Wands. Nine of Wands with the Five of Wands. A painful ending for everybody. And somebody doesn't want to give up. Okay, look. This Knight of Wands, being in this Knight of Wands energy, not being in this Divine Masculine energy, it was a painful ending for someone because they have to encounter all type of um, what it is that they basically manifested, right? In the energy, and they want to talk to you. This is conversation over raw energy. Give me this here energy of an uh, Empress. Give me the Empress. Thank you. Tell us the energy of the Empress. All right. Wow. They left the empress out in the cold, okay? Mm-hmm. Now, an empress is an empress. I don't know about the financial situation. I'm not feeling this five of pentacles. Just out in the cold, abandoned, all right? Is what I'm getting with the knight of cups energy. Somebody now wants to bring a cup of emotion because they see the light. The sun is here. It could be a Leo energy, right? Uh-huh, could have a water sign as well. And they're watching you. Page of Swords. They're watching you. And they're holding on tight to your energy too. Four of Wands. They want the Ace of Pentacles in the energy. That's what they want. They want a new beginning in the energy. They want to do the full and put down some burdens. Ten of Wands. Give me the Five of Pentacles. They can feel like you left them out in the cold. I just got that. Five of Pentacles with the Empress. Because that didn't sound right. Even though that's what they did. You cut that ass off. That's what happened, okay? Hmm. You see it. Queen of Swords. Uh-huh. And look, you, it, it, you done some thinking. You had to think about this. You stayed up at night contemplating this, Okay. And you move forward, the chariot, cancer energy, okay? You move forward. And they're thinking about the cutoff. That's exactly what that is. They're thinking about the cutoff because you are the queen of swords. That's who the empress is. She's balanced, new beginning. And you're taking a leap of faith. You took a leap of faith and somebody's watching you in this hermit energy, okay? Yeah, somebody's watching you in this hermit energy. Hmm. Interesting. I spit the deck. A queen of wands is watching. She lurking. Somebody could be a... No, I feel like this is you. I feel like this is you. Yeah, this is you. Ace of Cups. Yeah, they they see you as this queen of wands. Remember, you all the queens. Only queen ain't out here is the one that's in the dark. That everybody knows about that's her business is in the light. People know who she is in this energy. So they are really turned on and they are very passionate about you, right? Mm-hmm. Because they're all the kings in this energy. They're divine masculine. With that cup. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to put it back in because I split the deck on it, but it is what it is, okay? It's straight like that. Somebody, this is the five of swords. They're defeated in the energy. Okay? They're defeated in the energy. Nobody has to be told to put the swords down. The swords are down. Give me the five of swords. Thank you. Came out in reverse. They're no longer giving to a situation. Six of pentacles. Six of pentacles. This is how we started to read off straight up. They're no longer giving to a situation. The beggars and the bums and the people, the energy vampires, all of those people, they're not giving to the situation anymore. Somebody actually was being played. This is being taken advantage of. Yeah. Someone was getting a pocket shook. This is that energy. So, someone's no longer giving to the situation, and guess what they want? They want 11 11. <laughs> they want balance. They want balance. They want to come in the union and have a stable beginning. 
with someone from the past. Six of Cups. The ancient past. Into the ancient future. I'm splitting the deck. I can't make it up. The Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Yeah, the ancient future. Because if you know anything about these contracts, they have already been written, and so it is done. Mm. Woo, I just had a eurific moment, okay? I just got high real fast. Okay, Six of Pentacles in reverse. They're no longer giving to a situation. Let's pull a couple of more cards and go ahead and close out. This is your 1111 read. The highest frequency, beautiful ones. Manifest beautifully in this energy. Yeah, work on things. Someone is no longer giving to a situation. They've been working, but I feel like they've been watching you work. Overall, energy is pages for us, okay? There's something that you're doing where they can see it. Um, they could be looking at you just move differently is what I'm getting. They're holding on tight to your energy. A page of swords with this four of pentacles energy, they are. And they're putting burdens down. They put some burdens down. They're watching you work. Some of you are posting. Hmm. Give me the Eight of Pentacles. Tell us more. Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Thank you. Yeah, a tower is here. With the Seven of Swords. Yeah, I feel like they're at work. Yeah. They're making plans. They're working hard because they went through a tower. When it comes to these lies, this deception... This stuff. And they're making plans with their broken heart. This is somebody trying to rebuild themselves in this energy of a king of wands. This is somebody powerful. This is someone trying to rebuild themselves because they walked away. It's like somebody started all over. They're starting all over. They walked away from this energy Wow. Somebody who has a mental illness. Look, in order to heal, they walked away in order to heal the star energy. And they see things from a new perspective. The hangman is here. Judgment is here. They've gone through an awakening. Yeah, the tower's out here. Things ended and they were impacted by this energy. This is someone having to start over again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the last thing they want is to be judged, right? They need the Queen of Cups. They need the balance of the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords. This is balance. And that makes the energy of an Empress. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Beautiful ones. This is your read. I am Empress 444. And this is the Tarot Dynasty. Peace and love.